Hello there, welcome back to the yoga, the old Git Rash reviews and off time reminisces. Um, today we're doing the third and final um, little mini series of the joys of noise. Um, the first two, <coughs> excuse me, songs I did were um, fairly straightforward, total rackets really. Um, but uh, noise isn't all about making an absolute cacophony and uh, crushing your skull or um, ripping your insides out or turning your bones to dust sometimes it's about using it as a contrast um and Brahm um here um are very adept at doing just that what do you mean mac let's listen that's the easy way to see So at the minute, you could uh, be forgiven for thinking you're in one of those city parks where, um, you know, the, 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 there's trees and shrubs and grasses and uh, maybe a little pond and um, the birds are there singing away, uh, as you could hear. Uh, yet there's that, you're not, you're not under any illusion that you're not in a city because there's that, there's that hum of traffic noise um in the background and um so you're not you know you you, you you could convince yourself you were out in the countryside but you're not you're in a facsimile of it and um as i say there is the constant reminder in the background that you are in a cityscape um so where's this gonna go let's listen So um, if you weren't expecting that, that uh, rocky rumble to come in, then you, you've missed the point of these three videos. But um, the, um, you've now got Bikini Atoll meets the, the Amazon or something like that, or some forest glade. It's, um, 
you've got that uh, thermonuclear rumble um, to um, counterpoint the ethereal nature of the the other amp the, the other ambient aspects. Um, and um, if you've heard this album before, then the, you'll know what what its main motif is, and it's that juxtaposition of um, the um, sublime sweet voice against the uh, the brittle and broken uh, noise which never uh, and it's the balance of the two it's, I can't I can't think of a time when the the noise overwhelms the uh, the beauty and, and vice versa so um, it is a it is a, a balancing act here of noise and the sublime and um, throughout the album it manages it very well it does Um, I said before, um, probably to the point of boring you stupid over it, that um, it's the pictures that this sort of music paint that counts for me. And um, although the themes tend to be similar, I tend to get a, a different picture painted every time I listen to this. <laughs> um, and today, uh, not dissimilar to other times I've heard it, but today in particular, it reminds me of those um, documentaries or some video games exploit the same theme. Um, when mankind has gone, obliterated himself in whatever fashion, uh, and all that's left is the other uh, cities, uh, you get these documentaries and video games depicting nature returning. Um, and so for me, you've got this, uh, this paints a picture of a um, crum crumbling ruins of a city um, being sort of um, returned to nature. Uh, and perhaps with the, the ghosts of the best of humankind remaining, um, which, which I suppose is that ethereal singing.
So I think when I mentioned contrast at the beginning of this video, you can see what I mean now, particularly in comparison to the first two um, videos I did for this particular theme. Um, and it's the stark contrast, I guess, that works best here. It, you know, if there is no subtle contrast. It's, it is a night and day, black and white contrast. Um, and it works very well. Uh, another thing, <coughs> excuse me, I'd mention, by the way, if I break out into fits of coughing, I am trying to fight back the lurgy, so I may well burst into a bout of coughs uh, any anytime. Um, <laughs> so forgive me if I do, because I shan't be redoing the video. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yes. Um, now, this song is eight minutes long, um, and you might think to yourself, well, after about a minute or two of this, what's the point in listening to it anymore? Uh, and that would be missing the point, because, again, it's it's the atmosphere and the mood it creates that counts here, and so time really becomes irrelevant. Um, the uh, artifice used here means that um, you can listen to this song be it three minutes long five eight or probably even double that in fact one of the songs on this album is uh, now on 13 minutes and um, I will happily listen to it uh, without the slightest sense of tedium coming anywhere near um, because uh, I'm in a place in, in which I'm happy uh, and that I really suppose is the uh, the way this sort of music works best um, and probably why not everybody gets it but um, yes it is um, it, it is a, a mood enhancer it is a, a picture painter and um, for me um, I am as I said before taking places and uh, quite happy to remain there for quite a while so. It. I was going to leave this to the end, but I'll mention it now before I forget my train of thought. Um, the other thing that's uh, which makes this so engaging is it, it is um, it isn't complicated music. This is it. It's um, it's a fairly uniform rumble, although there are sort of um, sort of peaks and troughs in it, that changes in emphasis, but by and large it remains fairly uniform. And it's just that uh, lilting voice. Um, with a bit of a bird song, uh, you know, fairly simple elements uh, that all work very well together. And the simpleness and the purity means that it engages easier, I guess, than if, if there were flourishes in this or, uh, you know, changes in emphasis or dynamics or what have you. Um, and whereas before on previous the previous two tracks, I said that uh, I needed a sense of, sense of dynamism with uh, or dynamics with um, with this sort of music. There are exceptions, and because this is more more focused on ambience than just making the racket, uh, I don't quite need that same degree of dynamism with it, and um, or speed or haste or whatever. Because it, this is a, a different mood altogether. Um, but yes, um, keep it simple and um, it, it's still delightful.
so there you go always leave the last word to the birds um yes indeedy uh, there you go um i found myself floating away there um you know despite the uh the the knowledge that i need to comment at every every now and again about what i'm listening to uh, you know I was, my feet were sort of lifted off the ground and um you know a slightest breeze wafting through this cave would have would have taken me away so there you go as i say a, a nice counter to the the absolute blast of the first two um noise tracks noisy tracks um and just goes to show it doesn't have to be um a uh, a drill to the ear it can be um what can it be honey 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 poured in your ear rather than um the uh the abrupt and um violating presence of a uh, pneumatic drill going through your skull uh, super stuff but anyway if you like that the rest of the album will put you in a similar sort of mood so um um crack on and buy it there you go. Right, anyway, clicky bollocks, catch you all next time. Cheerio.